Hello YouTube, Kong here and today I'm gonna explain you guys about the size of the Google Plex and also how it cannot be written in this universe. Okay guys, let us start from the basics. For understanding the size of the Google Plex, first you need to know about Google. Google is 10 power 100 and the Google Plex is 10 power 10 power 100 which is equal to 10 power Google. Now we can move to the tough part of this video. For example, we can take 10 power 2 now. The 2 in the number denotes the total number of zeros present in the expanded form of 10 power 2 which is 100. Exactly. And for the next example, let us take 10 power 4. 10 power 4 is equal to 10,000 and in 10,000 there are 4 number of zeros which is exactly the number present in 10 power 4. The 4 is the same. So likewise, in Google which is 10 power 100, there are 100 zeros. Obviously, Google is the number which is 1 followed by 100 zeros. And in Google Plus, which is 10 power 10 power 100, which suggests that 10 power Google has Google number of zeros present in it. Now, I have proved that there are Google number of zeros present in Google Plus. Let us move on to the proof. For the first proof, I am going to use the total number of atoms present in our observable universe. There are about 10 power 80 atoms present in this observable universe. As we all know now, there are 10 power 100 zeros present in Google Plex. So even if we write down one zero in every atom present in this observable universe, we are gonna be left with 10 power 20 atoms unwritten. For the second proof, I am gonna use the measure of time. If you start to write Google Plex at the rate of 1 zero per second, you would need 3.2 into 10 power 91 years to complete it. So I think it's theoretically impossible for you to write. Maybe the gods could do, but they won't have the space to write. I think it's pretty much impossible. Thank you for watching this video guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.